To access the HRIS system, go to your browser type SureSaucer.net. Find UIS in the menu bar, then choose HRIS. If there are any updates or information from the division office, a notice will be displayed. To navigate to the login form, click any place outside of the box. Enter the username and password when the login form appears. Your username should be your DepEd email account. Your ICT coordinator can provide you with your temporary password. After successfully logging into your account, the first thing you should do after entering your account is to modify your password. Please take note that you must enter a strong and unique password with at least 8 characters long, consisting of a capital letter and numbers. If you have forgotten your password, entering the incorrect password three times in a row will display the option, Forgot Password? When you click the link, the system will reroute you to the DepEd Zambo Sir Technical Assistance form where you can ask for a password reset. You may now explore the other system modules, such as the Personal Information module, after changing the default password for your account. In the Personal Information module, employee information including basic details, educational background, eligibility, family background, training records, voluntary work details, and work experience can be viewed and edited. However, be aware that not all the fields shown can be altered because certain steps need to be taken. Just be aware that only the personnel and authority at the division office are permitted to update changes to information that is enclosed in a darker box, such as the employee's surname, employment status, and position. Another feature under the Personal Information module is that you can update your employee picture and signature. Be sure to wear the prescribed Tuesday uniform for both teaching and non-teaching personnel. Also, the picture and signature must have a white background. This is how you navigate personal information module of the HRIS. Right now, try changing the default password. In case you run into any issues or have any tips or suggestions, please leave a comment on the feedback option.